Hi, good morning. Hello, gorgeous. It's uh, Monday, the 27th of April. Um, I do not feel like putting on makeup. I do not feel like going to work, but they don't let you stay home because your dog died. So, um, I am beginning the, um, the Battle of the Foundations BBCC Creams Tinted Moisturizers in full bottle form. I want to use this stuff up, and if it doesn't work for me, get it out of here. I will probably have giveaways and pass it on this stuff on to people for whom it might work. Um, I think almost everything here I bought after I started watching YouTube videos, but before I decided to go cruelty free. I'm going to try the not cruelty free brands first. Today we're going to be trying, and I know I bought this for sure right before I went cruelty free. Possibly the last thing I bought. This is Maybelline Fit Me Foundation with Octanoxate Sun Cream SPF 18. And my color is, I don't know, Classic Ivory. So, we'll give it a try. See how it works. I am prepped and primed. Very sad day. I think the dogs are picking up that something is wrong quicker than they did after Merriweather left. Um, all I have here is a Lion Walter White the Blues Poodle. And um, Richard has his puppy, Maggie, here a great deal of the time. So, Walter is nine, and poodles tend to live very long lives, which is good because I can't, I can't deal with losing another dog. My most horrible fear is that Betty was suffering in the car on the drive to the vet because she had been hyperventilating. And the emergency vet on the phone said that could be indicative of being in pain. So that's why we went ahead and went to the emergency vet instead of waiting until this morning and you know, it's a good thing we did because, as I say, she passed away as Richard carried her from the car 12 steps to the door of the vet. Alright, go check how this looks in the mirror. Alright, it's going into the course, the pores and the creases. Not as bad as a lot of the, the samples I used. Uh, it looks like maybe with some more blending it might be alright. We'll just have to see. Um, Maybelline is not cruelty free. So, um, it looks like a light to medium coverage. Perhaps I could build it up, but I'm not inclined to do that because that's not my preference. So anyway, I'm going to quit yapping and I will see you later tonight. Bye. Hi, home from work. Uh, it's been 11 hours, give or take. And today's contender was Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 120 uh, with SPF 18 sunscreen. Um, this weathered pretty well. Um, it got a little cakey around here. It ended up going into pores around here, and it ended up going into cracks down here, which it hadn't done initially. Uh, it didn't rub off my nose. Um, it was overall pretty good. Uh, the flaws, the going into the pores and the creases, I'll attribute to the foundation 
the cakiness around here I will really attribute to my own personal dryness in that area. And I honestly am sorry to say it did so well because Maybelline is not cruelty free. So, gosh. Come on, you cruelty free people. Step it up. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'll see you in the morning. We'll be trying another one. Bye. Hi, it's Tuesday, April 28th. Um, today's contender is Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish. In porcelain ivory. Getting our two Maybellines done right here in a row. I want to thank you all for your very kind comments um, about the passing of Betty the Beagle. And also, I want to say again, thank you for all your kind comments a few weeks ago about Miss Merriweather. Um, I was really bummed all day Sunday, as you can imagine. And busy day at work yesterday actually helped take my mind off things. And I come away from this all now kind of feeling relieved that neither of those sweet old ladies are suffering anymore. Color looks right. <clears throat> Catherine A. Fisher, you commented last week how I needed to, uh, and I, I didn't mean to not answer you, I wanted to wait to answer you at an appropriate time, about how I need to bring my foundation down my neck and into my décolleté. I know, <laughs> except that what I really prefer to do is to find a color that is a dead-on match for me so that I don't have to do that. I know, I'm probably wrong. Junk mail from Skype makes my day. All right, let me check in the mirror real quick. Ooh, this this one's not so good. It's uh, It's not going into the pores or cracks or creases, but it is doing that sitting like an oil slick on the top of your face thing that I dislike very much. So I'm going to try to blend it in the best I can, or I might have to cut it with a little moisturizer in order to even walk out of the house with it. And I will see you later this evening and we'll see how it did through the day. Bye. Hi, it's about 11 hours later, and uh, today's victim was some kind of, let's see, Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. And uh, as you recall, when, when uh, I stopped taping this morning, it looked pretty horrid. Um, but after I powdered it, it, something, the magic of power, just powder transformed it, and it was absolutely gorgeous. But some time during the day, that all changed. Um, it has gone back into all my creases. It has gone into every pore I've got to the extent that I just look ridiculous. I mean, it does look like, you know, white chicken pox or, like I said, the photo negative of a Roy Lichtenstein painting. I look really ridiculous uh, at a distance. I don't know, you know. But if I look in the mirror, it looks pretty ridiculous. So this is a major fail. Um, that's it for today. See you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. It's Wednesday, the 29th of April. And today's victim is Revlon Color Stay Makeup for Normal Dry Skin in the color Ivory. Here's what it looks like. And it says it stays put for 24 hours. We'll see about that. This is another one of those that's not in a pump bottle. I really prefer the pump bottles, but for right now, my goal is to find a makeup that works for me, so I could always decant it into a pump bottle if I find one I really like. And let's see how this goes.
Okay, I think I, I've got it in enough that I can assess it in the mirror. The color is certainly right for me. Well, blast. Um, it's sitting in all the pores. It's sitting in all the cracks. It looks like it's possible that to some extent I'll be able to pounce some more and blend it out and maybe keep it from doing that to some extent. Uh, however, uh, it's not sitting like an oil slick on my face. And I have a feeling this is going to improve with powder, but I'll have to let you know about that tonight. So anyway, uh, we'll see how it goes. It certainly went on easily. It doesn't really have much of an odor to speak of. Maybe a very slight, very slight uh, soapy scent, but I mean really, really slight. Anyway, we'll see how it goes later tonight. Love y'all. Bye. Hi, it's um, 11 hours later, and today we are evaluating Revlon Colorstay Makeup 24 Hours in Ivory, and I'd hate to look this bad for 24 hours. Truly, I am going to try to pull in so you can see. I mean, it went into every pore, it went into every wrinkle, but I don't know if you can see. Nope. I have this little dry area right here, and I mean, it looks like it is crusty. It's calling attention to itself. And yes, the pores are like the Lichtenstein painting again, and this is bad. It looks even worse than it did this morning, and I'm kind of embarrassed I was actually seen in public like this. Yeek. Okay, that's it. I do not recommend this under any circumstances. And I'll see you all in the morning. Bye. Hi, good morning everybody. It's um, Monday, May 4th, and it's the last day of the first week of testing the full-size foundations, BB cream, CC creams, and tinted moisturizers uh, because I was under the weather last Thursday and Friday. So Thursday through Friday of this week, I'll start the next batch of four. So today's... Um, Today's victim is Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup SPF 15 in 10 Bare Buff. And let's see how it works. This is my first time to try it, so. But this is one of the ones I bought, like, most of these. After I started watching YouTube, I bought a lot of makeup, and so most of these are ones I bought right before I went cruelty free. And I am already prepped and primed and all that. The color seems pretty nice. Maybe just a tad yellow, but by and large the right color for me. Okay, I think I've got it on well enough to take a look in the mirror and see how it is at this point. Um, not good. I mean, it's not, uh, this is kind of weird because usually if it goes into the pores and the creases, it's, you know, often going to sit like, um, grease on, on on my skin. No, the reverse. If it's going to sit like grease on my skin, it's going to go into the pores and creases. This one is sitting like, you know, an oil slick on my skin, but it's not going into the pores and creases. So that's unusual. Um, I would call this, obviously, as a consequence of the comment I just made, I would call this a heavy coverage. Um, anyway, I'm going to, uh, blend it out as best as I can and go through the day and we'll see how it looks this evening. See you later. Well, hi, it's me back again. It's only, it's been about five minutes and, uh, 
I, I, you know, I pounced and pounced and pounced and, oh, actually, the minute I went back to the mirror after telling you that it was sitting like an oil slick but hadn't gone back into the pores and wrinkles, I went back to my uh, 14 magnification mirror and it had gone into pores and <laughs> into the pores and wrinkles. So, um, you know, I've pounced and pounced and blended and blended and uh, it it's not getting any better and it seems like it's not going to dry ever. I mean, it's been five minutes. It should be dry by now, right? And I don't feel like I put too much product. I just... I don't know. It's, anyway, it's not working. So, you know what? We're going to have a short day. Um, I'm, I'm going to call it quits. I'm going to take this off and start over. I, I just, I'm not, it doesn't feel like it's ever going to dry. I'm not, I'm not going to wear this. So I declare this an absolute and total fail. It just, mm -mm, not working for me. So that one goes into the pile of foundations that will end up in a giveaway at the end of this experiment and uh, somebody else can try it on their foundation journey and uh, if it doesn't work for them pass it on to somebody else <sighs> I, this is the first one that's been so bad for me that I just feel like I've got to remove it one of them I had to uh, thin out with some moisturizer but this one no uh -uh. It's not ever going to dry. Nope, 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 nope. I just feel gross. Okay. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning. We'll try another one. I think it's going to be four days of L'Oreal starting tomorrow. Uh, anyway, okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye. Hi, it's Cindy. I want to just briefly recap uh, the four foundations that were used over the course of this week um let's see there were two by revlon one being revlon color stay makeup for normal to dry skin in ivory and um that was not very good revlon age defying firming and lifting makeup spf 15 in bare buff which was so bad I had to remove it before I left the house. Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish in Ivory, which was not a success. And the only one that looked nice on me was Maybelline Fit Me uh, Foundation with Octinoxate Sunscreen SPF 18 in ivory I guess mm. and uh, yeah this one worked um, none of these are cruelty free and um, I'm going to add the three that didn't work to the potential giveaway box and this one did that did work I'm going to hang on to it a while till I see how many foundations I have left uh, when this is all over with because as I have stated before I'm not going to throw away things that I bought before I went cruelty free. Uh, but if it turns out I have a whole lot of foundation in there, I might go ahead and throw this into the giveaway. We'll just see at a later time. So anyway, tomorrow through Friday, I'll be doing week two of the full size foundation um, battle and we'll see what happens. Uh, love y'all. Yes, I'm waving at you with my hair clip. <laughs> see you in the morning. Bye.